What are the best tips and tricks from Roblox Jailbreak in 2024? Today we'll be going over the top 10 tips and tricks, starting off with the airdrop glitch. If you guys know, there's actually airdrops that spawn around the map, which you can use to get mansion invites and money, whatever. But there is actually a way to quickly beat the airdrops, which normally you have to beat uh, a whole set of NPCs and kill them and if you have weapons and everything. But using this method, you guys will actually be able to completely bypass the entire battle. Now, a lot of people do know this, but for those of you who don't know this, what you can do when you're at an airdrop is you can actually hold the top uh, bar on your monitor, basically. Like when you go out of full screen and you just right click the top bar over here for about 20 seconds or so, and then you can let go when you're done. And as you guys can see, uh, you will have completed the airdrop. And then you can get a mansion invite from that, you can get some money from that as well. So it is pretty OP in my opinion, but this next tip is actually another glitch as well. So we have the CEO mansion robbery over here, and of course you usually have to go through the entire boss fight to be able to complete it, and have the chance to get a hyperchrome and everything like that. But I'm going to show you guys a method where you can actually bypass the uh, entire fight, and literally kill him within about 30 seconds. But if we come all the way over here, there's actually a wall you have to stand on. And I'll show you guys this. And what you do is you want to actually stand on this invisible part that's on uh, this wall right here near this door. And you guys should be floating right here, uh, just like this. And then when you start shooting the CEO from here, uh, when the NPCs come out of this door over here, they actually won't be able to shoot you at all. And this will work completely for the entire boss fight. Uh, the NPCs will not be able to attack you, and the CEO will not attack you either. He'll just call more NPCs in his light, but he can't laser you. I mean, there we go, we just beat the CEO. But now we're getting more into the tips that could be used mainly for beginners, stuff like that. So for trading in Jailbreak, the values can be really, really hard to find sometimes. There is actually a really good website that I recommend using called jbvalues.com that has all the values in Jailbreak for every item. And it is super helpful to help you start trading in Jailbreak, to help you start getting some upgrades on some items that you may have that aren't limited or even are limited. But yeah, that's a completely unpaid promotion or whatever. Uh, I just really think that website is helpful for new traders. I honestly use it all the time when trying to uh, trade just to see if what I'm trading is worth more or less than what they're offering. But yeah, so the next one is an actual in-game tip where you can actually use the sword to rob things faster. Now you may be wondering how does the sword help you rob things faster? So the sword is available at the gun store. Now every few times I click the sword, there's actually a 20% or so chance that I will get a speed boost just like that you guys saw right there. And again, now if you're consistently grinding and you actually uh, use the sword and you use the roll as well a lot, it can actually save you multiple minutes of grinding per hour. You can also spam uh, using the sword as well, like if you just spam equip it and unequip it, you'll have a faster rate of being able to get a boost. But yeah, so the next tip is more for hyper grinders, people who are looking to get hyper chromes really quick. But what you can do is you can actually hop servers. This is actually a strat that was used even before the new robbery system. What people do to rob the tomb really fast and just get the hyper chrome really fast, and this works on other robberies as well is people just server hop and just go around into different servers. Like if you rob Casino, you can just leave the game and try and find a new server that has Casino open. And I do also recommend getting the RoPro plugin because it has a server hop button built in to the Roblox page. Now this next one actually has to do with the jewelry store. Now this was also in my other video, but there's actually a thing with the jewelry store where you can rob it multiple times with only one time of it being open. So if you get any gem floor, which is either of these two floors, you'll actually be able to uh, get yourself a gem and then go up to the top and turn in your money. And then when you come back, you'll actually be able to get another gem. And for each gem you get, you can do a completely new robbery. And if you can get all the gems, which is around seven or eight, I think, you'll be able to definitely speed up the hyperchrome grinding process for the jewelry store a ton. But for this one, I'm actually getting myself arrested because what you can do when you're arrested is if you reset during an arrest, what happens is you will actually respawn instead of having to wait 20 seconds in prison. Like for example, if I go in here and I just get myself arrested by any of the cops in here right now, then what happens is when I just go ahead and reset myself, instead of normally having to wait 20 seconds, now I'm just back in the prison yard. And this also works when you are completely outside of the prison and you get arrested anywhere on the map. You can just reset and spawn in the prison yard. This saves about 40 seconds to a minute or so from escaping prison because normally if you get arrested you have to go all the way from down there 
to the yard and then make it from there but that completely skips that time so that is definitely a tip that i think a lot of people don't actually know but for number eight we do have another one that's useful for starter players as well a lot of people might tell you that the lambo is the best car in the game now i thought this a couple of weeks ago too but I made a video saying the top 10 worst cars, and I said the Lambo was one of the best cars. And someone pointed out to me in the comments that the Shell Mark V, which is actually $92,000 compared to the Lambo, which is $100,000, actually has better stats than the Lambo. The Shell Mark V is probably one of the best cars to buy in the game just because of how worth it it is. Even compared to cars that go up to 500 k this is probably one of the best starter cars in the game before you go ahead and try getting yourself cars like the Eclair, the Roadster, the Volt Bike. The Shell Mark V is definitely the best starter car in the game. So yeah, and for number 9, we have another little known thing, which is more of an Easter egg rather than a tip. But if you ever have cops camping in prison a ton, like we have a ton of cops over here right now, there's actually a secret way to escape prison. But if you grab yourself a donut from this cafeteria over here, you will be able to go down all the way to the cells section. And this guy named Rusty over here, he will actually give you an item. And this time he gave me a pistol. But you can do this however many times. And he has a ton of different items that he can give you. And then he gave me a C4 as well. And then he tells me there's a weak wall within the yard. There's actually a pretty weak part of the wall over here. Uh, where there's a C4 symbol and everything. So what you can do with the C4, you can just put it on the wall right there, you can explode it, and then the wall actually explodes just like that, and you can escape through there. Just a lesser known way to escape. But for number 10, the final one of the video, before we get into number 10, if you haven't already, make sure to leave a comment. I'll actually be picking one commenter to win a jailbreak season pass, so go ahead and comment your username down below. And you'll have a chance of getting yourself a season pass. But yeah, so for the last one, there are a ton of houses and penthouses and apartments you can buy in Jailbreak. So for example, we have this one over here. Now, I think one of my biggest regrets for grinding money in Jailbreak was buying literally every single house and penthouse and apartment in the game. Literally, after I bought every house, I have not used any of the houses because they have no purpose at all. Like, you can get a donut or an energy drink, but that's literally it. Unless you want to spend a really decent amount of money to get yourself an extra spawn point and a donut and stuff like that, there really is not any points in it buying any houses, especially when you're a new player starting off the game just recently. If you're a new player, I just highly recommend getting cars, grinding for stuff like that, just grinding robberies, trying to uh, get new items. Anyway, so that's my final tip for the video. That was the top 10 tips in Roblox Jailbreak for 2024. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe notifications. I'll be posting twice per week now with different tutorials, glitches, tips and tricks, whatever. So if you are interested in that, then again, make sure to subscribe because I can definitely help you. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one.